Right, I'm just going to go through my spring hive management, what I've been doing this year to avoid swarming. It's always a challenge to particularly keep bees in one brood box, a single brood box, and stop them swarming. So what I've been doing this year is putting wax foundation in, in the brood box to give them space. And I've found that's been working pretty well. So I always put the lid down on the ground. That's where I sit the super in front of the hive. Fair bit of honey in there. <clears throat> so I've been in this hive once this spring, or twice, and I've put in two frames of wax foundation before, so we'll have a look what they've done with that. <clears throat> I don't know exactly when that was put in, probably three weeks ago, and it's all capped brood. No, no swarm cells there yet, which is good. I'm going to have to go right through this and look for swarm cells. Now I've got deep bottoms on these hives and you'll see the bees have built drone comb off the bottom bar. And you may think that's a nuisance but they've got a strong urge to build drones and they've got to do it somewhere. So if you allow them to do it down there in the base, it stops them from chewing out your brood comb and putting drones in here, and they can do it down there. And the other thing it does is, when you put your wax foundation in, they tend to draw it all the way down, because there's activity down below the bottom bars, so they draw it down to the bottom better. If that comb wasn't there, they leave a gap at the bottom of your comb. I'm just sort of assessing which which two combs I'm going to bring up into the super. That's another new frame that's been in for probably three weeks and that's all capped brood. You may think you want to bring up capped brood above your excluder, but when you think about it, the capped brood's just about to hatch out, so you may as well leave it there, and that can become space in no time. Whereas your unsealed brood, that's going to take longer. <coughs> the 
see here's a really crappy frame the found the, the plastic foundation is warped so it's out of shape so I'm going to take this one out So there's one to take up. And this one on the edge is all honey, so I'll take that up too. Yep, there's no brood at all in there, so I'll take that up. <clears throat> now I want to arrange this. Any older frames that I might want to take out in the future can go to the outside. I've just got two gaps here. I'm going to put foundation in there. So I didn't find any sign of swarming, which is fantastic. So here we go, just two frames of wax foundation. Embedded these fresh this morning so they're not warped or covered in dust or anything, and they go straight in the brood box. Glue it back on. Now this soup is full of honey, so I'm going to make this into a triple. I'm going to put that frame of brood that I brought up in the middle. Even though it's a crappy frame, I want those bees to hatch out. And then I'll put a bit of foundation around. I'll put wax foundation right next to it so they can start working that straight away. And then some plastic foundation out because that's what I've got for the rest of the box. I've also got this frame of honey that I brought up so I can put that back in too on the edge. Now this box of honey back on top. It's probably not capped ripe yet so I'm not going to harvest it yet.
So there we have it. The one next door, that's been a triple for about three weeks now. It was further, further advanced, came out stronger out of winter. But that's pretty much what I'm doing with all the hives at the moment. Putting that wax foundation in the brood chamber to give them space. And the queen will be laying in that in no time. They don't have to draw it all the way out for the queen to lay. They only draw it three or four mil out and she'll put an egg in there. And then they've got the next few days to continue drawing it out the rest of the way. The whole idea is just to relieve that congestion in, in the brood box. Now quite often you'll bring up a couple of nice frames of brood. Well, you can come back later and grab them if you want to make a split. Or if you've got a weak hive, take that frame of brood you took out and um, give it to the other weak hive. So this is that triple next door and you can see I've been in a couple of times there's four new frames in here that were foundation and then I like these black frames as brood frames so they're in there in the middle so I'll go in again I'll probably take that old frame out there and and one of these new ones and bring them up because these need room too they're packed out I'll just quickly show you this. This has been in you know, a couple of weeks or whatever, but it's drawn right to the bottom bar. It's a nice strong hive and there's a bit of drone comb hanging off the bottom of those black combs. So there's activity right down into the base. So they've drawn it right down to the bottom. So hopefully you can see there the two new frames. See the thing about this time of year, there's all those young bees and they're your wax drawing bees so they need something to do so I think the reason this is working for me is all those wax drawing bees are um, got something to do rather than think about swarming and of course because you're bringing up brood into your supers you've got to go back and check those frames in a week and check that there's no queen cells you don't want a virgin queen running around in your super she could lay a heap of eggs in your honey frames, which you don't want that either. But I've taken out a nice frame of capped brood, and I'll give that to a weaker hive over the other side there. So, yeah. But I'm happy with that. No sign of swarming in this one either. I think we're over the hump a bit with swarming. They're into honey flow now, and I think they're um, not thinking about swarming so much, which is fantastic. Right, a couple more hives here to do. Once you know what you're doing, you, you can be quick in and out of a hive. Like a lot of the times when you're inexperienced, you sort of hum and ah and you spend half an hour in a hive and you haven't done anything. But once you know what you're doing, you can sort of get through a few. They're a little bit behind the last double. They're not quite as packed in the super. So I've still got these matted down from winter um, just to keep the heat in the bottoms but that needs to come off now because that can act like a bit of a barrier and they think they're in a single and it can make them swarm too. So I have put one new frame in here this spring. We'll have a look at it.
was brewed all the way out to the wall. Once again, that drone brood hanging off the bottom. I knocked that bit off. That's a pretty fat frame. I might take that one up actually. Here's this new frame, it's all caps brewed, pretty much the full frame. That can be a good one to take up too because there's no pollen in it. You don't want to be taking up a whole heap of pollen into your honey super because it's just wasted real estate. Yeah, it's just all open brood. Now that's the only queen cup I've seen in the whole brood nest and there's nothing in it. Putting a half mat back on the excluder.
Now I'm going to try and work these two frames of brood back into the super. Just grabbing out two frames of honey. It's open honey. They didn't need a third box, maybe next time. So here's another triple I'm going through. Uh, as you can see, nice honey flow on. If you can control your swarming, this is what you get. You get a couple of nice boxes of honey and um, a hive packed full of bees. So we'll have a look in the brood box and see if there's any sign of swarming. <laughs> 